Yes, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. NSG right there, Nigerian boys, Ghanaian boys. Joining us on the show this afternoon is a compare, talk show host, stand up comedian, an actor. What else am I missing now? A uh, human being. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's make welcome to the show, Tommy Wasage. <laughs> Yo! How many things do you do, by the way? Um, I do whatever it takes. <laughs> You must be very rich, very, 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 very rich. Well, before the elections. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, so what now happened after the elections? They took mm. your job away from you. After the elections, everybody have, you know, we're cutting our coat to our size. Okay. So I think I should just take it from here. I think it was last week I was having a conversation with someone and I said that it's just very pathetic because following what Sheung Kuti mm -hmm. uh, said about, you know, uh, every job in Nigeria, when you say the counterpart of these people abroad, they mm -hmm. earn more. Yeah. And it is very, very yeah. true. Yes, and I'm is. thinking, okay, in Nigeria, you have a broadcaster who cannot just be a broadcaster. broadcaster. Stay there. Mm -hmm. In other climes, you have it and they earn enough. Yeah. In fact, they have retirement plans and all of this. Boom. But in Nigeria, you are a broadcaster and you're already in the public eye. So you have to do all that things. You have so to influence. Up, you're you're going you go influence. You understand? Then you're going to push up. And you cannot still afford a brand new car tier nylon like I'm... Um, Just like that. Okay, I think that makes now. You are on this money now. You did all right. No, no, but no. She's not talking about herself. She's talking about the people who are not to, like, going on... Please, don't let my day. helpers run away from you. I need help. No, you're you the one that is helping us. What do you mean by help? I mean, go away. So, let me land very well. <laughs> <laughs> so... Could that be the reason you are doing all of this? Or it is, is it because you just have passion for all of this? Uh, left to you, if there was money, if there was money, like in one particular hustle, hustle mm -hmm. will you just relax and you be doing everything? I may then have King's disease. King's disease is what NAS called overprivileged. Yeah. You know, but I mean, see, I study theater arts. Mm. Let's be honest. There's no way you study theater arts for four years without at some point being a dancer, being a singer, being an actor, Lighting, being, being like different do you understand? Like so, in yeah, so, so it's, it's like different art forms that you can express yourself in, mm. do you understand? And they're all interwoven. Comedy is interwoven with stand-up. Stand-up is interwoven with... Uh, there's no comedian in this world, from Chris Rock to Will Smith to Kevin Hart to Dave Chappelle. They've all done everything that I'm telling you before. So it's under one umbrella. Mm. Power to the... <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me put you on the spot. Which would you say... You asked me this thing the last time, yeah, because, yo. Because there's always, which would you say is, oh man, this one, this one I like pass, and this one they bring the money pass. No, no, the one I like pass may not necessarily be the one where they, where they bring okay, the money which pass. which one you like pass? Acting. Which one they bring the money pass? Events. No, compare. Because you can just make maybe money once, like, no. I do. No, I just cause, because, the, I mean, every day there's celebration every day. There's, there's, they're about, in the world now, if we have a statistics, more than two billion people are probably celebrating birthdays today. Mm. Some of the people are graduating today. There's a promotion today. There's something today. Mm. So there's usually a cause for celebration, and then people need a Toastmaster, which is what I do, so... <laughs> <With this guy. laughs> you don't know, you know, you know the answer, what <laughs> which is what I do, so I just move in, and then people need you, they need their services, and then uh, you just end your pay, you go. That's it's right. like basically like a minimum wage, you know, uh, sector, basically. Mm -hmm. Sector. <laughs> so that's it, really. What's your take? So um, we were talking earlier about as regards Afrif, uh, mm -hmm. which happened. Oh yeah, through, Afrif. I was at Afrif. Or, or through last week, mm -hmm. and of course how the movie industry is kind of like getting it right one way or the other. Mm, yeah. What's your take on this? Come on, now put me for tough photo. You for tell me this to say you are. Now your industry. Man. Okay, so I mean I was at Afrif, and the quality of films that were shown, we all loved it. You know, um, in terms of the new guys mm. and and when i say new guys you know there, there are a lot of indie producers out there um people who who shot whatever they could shoot with whatever they have and whatever they could do that's right and the output was like wow and i feel like that's the that's how you know that that's how daring filmmakers have become what i would just love um yes like you say getting it right in terms of the maybe making Attention to the script, to the dialogue, to the acting, you know. Uh, they, if you look at the award night, a lot of new movies, a lot of new producers, mm -hmm. first-time producers won a whole lot of awards, and that's because they, they brought in their game. Um, we still need a great ecosystem where this works can be shown competitively, 
in terms of marketing distribution it's looking like 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 a few people just and get Everywhere is good. Gatekeepers. It's a gatekeepers, you know. <laughs> so if if I I don't want to have to do big budget before I could sell, and and there's an audience for this, you know, that that are waiting to literally see these movies, you know. So content distribution and marketing is still, you know, where I feel like people can make out money from and then do great stuff. So we need more investment in that light. Interesting stuff because yeah. of course we've been talking about different industries in Nigeria. We've been mm -hmm. having a tough conversation back okay. and forth mm -hmm. before you mm -hmm. came in. All right, I mean, let's just leave that and get back to you. Okay, you want to get back to me? Wow, that's nice. <laughs> get back to me, my dear. Just go ahead and do it. <laughs> so, did I... Is it that way to look for trouble? You say you want to get back to me. Mm -hmm. It's like money. Like, will you write check in getting back to me? She's you, honest. She's honest money. Will you calm down what? and face this in <laughs> I'm face this interview. I'm face this interview. I'm calm. <laughs> All right, so it's um, <laughs> amongst the things you do. Do you also hype? I'm looking for trouble right now. No, I don't hype. <laughs> okay, um, so I, I hype on some occasions, but um, it looks like it's a trend now in events. Everybody, even events that you don't think need hyping, everybody just want hype. And uh, you think so? Is it because you are um, a compare and you are a comedian? So you think that's why you to collect your job? No, no, it, your our job. job is our job is totally different. Yeah, I, but a hype man is different from what I do, darling. I'm a total bloody package. I, there's <laughs> no way anybody can take my job. Okay, interesting. So I, I just wanted to ask that if you do that, you hype. Yes. And then they're already talking about Nigerian artists, mm -hmm. uh, you know, billing people in Ash dollars. Washiri. And that's, ah, maybe you should just go and check your rate card and dust it that's and right. recook it. No, no, if you have to. This is December. <laughs> <laughs> this is December. <laughs> <laughs> you sing everybody's song. I'll, DJ, off everybody will sing. Ba, na, na, na. You say, na, na. Now, stop being messy. I'm just <laughs> curious. <laughs> Well, that's what's going to happen at the end of the day. But what is December, December looking like? I feel like disposable income is not disposable anymore. You, you didn't see that light coming. It's shocking. Wait, wait. I'm just saying, I feel like disposable income isn't income. It's, it's not disposable anymore. And this is not just for the artists mm. who are charging in dollars. You, you cannot blame them. There's a new bride. The new bride is the diaspora. There's streaming. That's right. There's hearing the sound for the first time. You know, and let me tell you, with all the argument and stuff, I was telling a promoter last week, I said, see, the three, the four top guys can easily come home and say, you know what, I'm doing free show for my, for my fans. Mm. And all this noise will, will be we'll forgotten. Die down, yeah. We'll die down, yeah. We'll die down. You know, the promoters also need to make money because how much is a ticket? What is a, 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 a um, how do I say it now? A final ticket sale. The least is probably 10K. Yeah, true. You, you know what 10K does in terms of the set, stage, everything. So everybody got a break even. If it's not happening, it's not happening. Let's all stay inside this year. <laughs> Cartier, so, Joko, so, Let's all stay in inside. In December, till next are you, are, December. Are you, are, you, are you minding him? Talking about show, you have, you have something you are doing. You, yes, I do. Why, why, why can't we sit down at home? No, no, what I'm doing, okay, okay now, <laughs> Akre Camkeeper, Code Vitos, and my fellow audience, oh, yeah. what I'm doing is totally different, right? Okay. I mean, mine is a comedy special. Okay. I mean, I, to, to, to not even hit bankruptcy, I just said, 10K flat. <laughs> you understand? 10K flat. No, pro, no profit for this thing. Now, love, see, for my, my people. But which one be now love? Let's talk about the real deal. Ibu like what? Hmm. what? What is it called? It's called These Are The Issues. See that? These are the issues. Yes. Why do you think you should just do that amount? Don't you think it is, or is, I mean, why? Why? You think it's expensive? I think it's not expensive, and I think that you're just saying it, hey, uh, just let us do it so that you can just do it. What's the main reason you're doing it at that price? Uh, because, well, funny enough, honestly, I, I don't even think that I thought so much about it, you know. It, I mean, I'm doing a theater style, gallery style, you know, it's, uh, which is the usual theater style, right? It's not tables, so it's just plain. I didn't, I don't want to say, oh, you come 500K. No, nah, 10K, everybody, just come and laugh, ease your stress, enjoy a good time, a chill, intimate Sunday evening. And we looked at it. I looked at the people who can afford, the people, what people are spending on things these days. I realized 10K is just, 10K is fine. It, I won't kill you. You won't kill me, right? It, we're trying to be, like I said, disposable ink. And I'm not saying this offhand. I'm saying this according to stats. Go talk to the uh, Movie Cinemas Association of Nigeria. I let them tell you about the income outcome of stuff in the last, in the last months. Yeah. They'll tell you what the profit is saying or what the flow of 
customers say. So if you, if you don't want to stress it, just put that thing, anybody can just say, okay, I'll go. I don't want you to think too much about it. Mm. These are the issues. All right. So yeah. We, we just want to say a very big thank you to you. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Okay, and that's it with our guest, Tommy Wasage. We will be back with our movie-themed trivia question segment, courtesy Biggie for you. <laughs>